AI Sock Analyst. I wanted to bring to light, bring to your attention, AI is coming for your jobs. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Sort of, sort of. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Let me explain. A security analyst's job is to identify, contain, eradicate, recover, and document anything learned from an incident or an alert generated by EDRs, firewalls, IDS, IPS, email filters, user reported emails. This email is clearly phishing. No, it's not, Sharon. Stop being lazy and reporting every marketing spam email as phishing. And stop using your business email to sign up for everything. Scanners, they check for vulnerabilities, exposures, gaps, anything that can create alerts. And the security engineer or detection engineers have deemed worthy of devoting time looking into by the security analysts. These alerts are typically fed into a SIM with hopefully any available logs from the security tools themselves. The more logs there are, the more context the analysts have to use in investigations. Analysts are looking at these alerts. There's endpoint alerts. Someone clicked on a skunky link and now has malware attempting to run. Identity alerts. Someone clicked on a phishing link and their session got stolen again. So now there's a successful sign-in from China. Network alerts. Someone clicked on a link on their personal device, which of course naturally is connected to the corporate network. All this juicy data ripe for the investigating. That in a nutshell is what analysts do all day and probably all night. Where AI is starting to fit into this job role is, well, the tools themselves, where alerts are generated from, have advanced AI secret sauce mojo getting baked into it, which if I'm being honest, the machine learning behavior based detections kind of suck right now. It, it's getting better, but AI getting shoved into these security tools started years ago, and all it's really doing is generating more false positives, more alerts for the analysts to sit there and scratch their head for 10 to 20 minutes, thinking to themselves, why the f did this alert generate on this completely benign file? Yay! machine learning. Now, we are seeing a new development in the AI space. This automated garbage collector, the AI SOC agent, is kind of like software as a service. Oh, actually, the official term is ass. Ass is coming and it's coming fast. There's a portal that you send your alerts into where the AI SOC agent magic happens. It has a list of pre-built investigation steps based on the alert types that I mentioned earlier. It asks questions like, has this software installer ever been seen before? It pulls information from sites like VirusTotal via an integration, interprets the reputation of the software, asks questions like, who ran the installer? What level of permissions do they have? What file access do they have? Any question that a human analyst might investigate and find an answer to. Now, once it compiles all the answers, it makes a determination. False positive or benign. Close the alert. We're good. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Start digging in your butts, when. What? What? True positive or unable to make a determination because the robot brain is confused or doesn't have access to enough telemetry data to sufficiently make a bold enough claim escalate to a human. My name is Jeff. Jeff. Now the whole point of all this is to get rid of the noise and learn over time to further reduce the noise so that analysts aren't wasting their time. If you've been an analyst for a couple of places like I have, you're constantly tuning alert signals and adding new alert signals that also need tuning over time. I've heard of some truly shite work conditions for SOC teams where there are literally thousands of alerts to sort through. And in those cases, you have to complete investigations pretty quick in order to keep up with all the noise. And according to one study, SOC teams receive on average 4,484 alerts a day and spend nearly three hours triaging them. Yet 67% of them go unaddressed with 83% of analysts reporting that most are false positives and not worth their time. Similarly, IBM found that SOC analysts that waste nearly one third of their day, 32%, investigating alerts that pose no real threat. The alert fatigue is real. But hey, at least we're making them big bucks, right? Right? Oh.
shit. Now I've seen this agent in action. Beautiful. It actually does a pretty damn good job. It does some pretty good investigations if you feed it the right data and give it access to what it needs to to query all the data. This is not really a replacement for junior analysts yet. What this can do, I say can in the most pipe dream way possible, what this can do is theoretically remove the need for junior analysts or tier one SOC analysts if configured properly. Who's going to configure all these? Probably the security or detection engineers, which by the way, I've recently been promoted to security engineer. Did I switch because of the looming threat that is AI? Yeah, no. I'm just sick of alerts. I like building things brick by brick, configuration by misconfiguration. To completely remove the need for a human, automation needs to be put in place to address all the true positives. We're talking automatically triggering a device isolation in whichever EDR or security tool that is in place, auto magically resetting passwords, pooling emails, anything an analyst would do in an investigation to contain, remediate, Etc. All of these things need integrations built out for them. Access to tools granted, API calls, loads and loads of configurations. And even after all this setup, it will still likely need humans to monitor it. At this point, the AI SOC agent is really just going to open up the security analyst schedule to address other gaping holes in the business. Exposures, vulnerabilities, out of date software, end of support hardware or software, no longer getting security updates. Now you can automate some of those things, but not really because it requires human interaction with the end user who are usually not tech savvy enough to understand what you're asking them to do. And this leads into the beefy gorilla in the room. How does an AI SOC agent affect your odds of landing a job as a junior security analyst or any of you analysts job security? Should you reconsider your life choices and start learning how to be an electrician before you find yourself laid off with bills piling up? No because the adoption of the AI SOC agent is probably going to be as quick as the adoption of security in general. Here are some small business cybersecurity statistics for 2025. 51% of small businesses have no cybersecurity measures at all. Like nothing. You click a phishing email, computer gets compromised, ransomware spreads throughout the network on all 10 devices in your office, and nothing it's going to stop it. Or possibly no one's going to notice anything before it's too late and everything is encrypted and you have no access to your company's data. <sighs> what are you going to do now, Bob? We've been telling you about this for years. 36% of small businesses are not concerned at all about cyber attacks. Of course you're not. You're not concerned until you're the target. But of course small businesses aren't concerned and don't have any cybersecurity measures at all. They can't afford it. Businesses with 50 to 100 employees still can make millions upon millions of dollars annually. Does that sound like a business a hacker might want to target? Yes, and they are targeting them. They're targeting everyone. Even your grandma isn't safe, who's no longer in the workforce. They're not safe from scam callers. The same Best Buy fake receipt emails hitting your grandma's mailbox is hitting all businesses. Now my point in bringing all this up is slowly, very slowly, but surely businesses are waking up and are starting to take cybersecurity more seriously. Even if it's hiring a security professional, I'm not sure what the job title would be, but someone who builds out the security tool stack from scratch, from ground zero, and starts to monitor the alerts and all those 50 to 100 employee companies, there is a massive need for security professionals, even in 2025. I mean, these stats were absurd to me. You can read through them yourself on this site. Absolutely atrocious. Insanity. So yes, the companies that have a security team built out already are going to slowly ad adopt the AI SOC agents. It is inevitable, but for those security teams, they're still going to be looking for humans to babysit the AI SOC agents and verify false positives and true positives while addressing the endless pile of crap, the endless security improvements that can be done in the business. So don't quit studying your ass off. The learning never stops because technology never stops growing and changing. But that's why it's so much fun. Oh.